Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at a semi-replica of a Questar 3.5 inch telescope. It's a working semi-replica at about 60% scale, so it's about half scale. The reason for that is that I only had access to a 50 millimeter diameter lens, and this has a 90 millimeter lens. My little scale model cannot completely replicate all the functions of the beautiful Questar wonderful telescope. But it comes close and it does some of the things. It does operate as a telescope. It's got a uh, 50 millimeter objective in here. It's got a screw off lid just like the real deal. This is a 50 millimeter Maksutov telescope. This is a three and a half inch Maksutov telescope. This does many of the same things that the original scope does. Of course, it moves in right ascension and declination. Maybe not as nicely as this one, but does the same things. It has uh, one interesting feature that this that the Questar has that a lot of people don't even know about this. The Questar, you can rotate the tube in its housing here like so to make it more comfortable for viewing at different positions. My little replica does something similar to that. You can move it this way, that way, so that it will uh, make it more comfortable for viewing. This, of course, this has beautiful setting circles. This one, of course, has nothing in the way of setting circles. They're just there, just kind of decorations. This one has, like the original, this one has a slide-off dew shield, like so. This one also has a slide-off dew shield. Now, I've violated my own principles here because one of the things that I try to stick to closely is make everything out of aluminum, or everything out of metal. Well, this is, <laughs> this is a photograph that I wrapped up and taped together, and uh, that duplicates the function of the slide-off dew shield, like so. It does, uh, this one has a beautiful, elegant, wonderful, sweet slow motion. This one has a slow motion knob here, but it doesn't work the way I intended it to work. It, I was trying to make it work according to friction here, the way this one does. This is so smooth, it's just beautiful. This one, push it down and hold just right and might work a little bit, but it, um, it doesn't work very well, not as well as I would have liked to have it work. This one only has one eyepiece. This one, of course, you can exchange eyepieces. This one works uh, unbelievably at about roughly 38 power, or almost the same power as the lowest power on the Questar. So it, uh, it's a 700 millimeter focal length on this little thing. You can't get a Maxutov with a real short focal length. They're all about F14 or so. So this one, uh, it has a lot of <laughs> a lot of magnification there, and it's challenging. I'll tell you, one of the things about this is that if you look here on the back, this is the focuser knob for this little Mac. It's very similar to the focuser knob on the Questar. The Questar is just beautifully smooth. It's uh, reputed to be the smoothest Maxutov in the world, and I, I wouldn't doubt it, it's certainly as smooth as it could possibly be. A lot of these catadroptic scopes move by sliding the primary mirror back and forth. This one does too, uh, but believe me, this is nowhere near as smooth. <laughs> it does work, <laughs> but it's nowhere near as smooth as the elegant Questar. Well, the Questar comes on this little tr tabletop tripod, which is adjustable, of course. You can slide this this way and that way. My little replica does the same thing. It's got a slide out leg just like that so it can go about the same latitudes as the its big brother. You'll notice that on the back here this doesn't all have all the bells and whistles that this one has. This one has all sorts of switches and so forth. Well there was no room. I was lucky to get a little diagonal in there. Uh, and those are uh, adjustment screws for the diagonal and the focuser. That's it. That's all that's in there. 
This thing is loaded. It's got mirrors and it's got a, a flip out diagonal like so, so you can use the finder. The finder on mine, of course, is just right. It doesn't even work. It does, it's not there. Uh, it's just for decoration. But here's the little finder on the original. Uh, it's got a Barlow, built-in Barlow here. No Barlow in this one. Uh, you're going to be lucky to operate it at 40 power, and that's it. This is where I got the optics for my little half-scale model of the Questar. This is a Celestron C50 Mini Mac. It's a spotter scope. See the little Maxutov optics in there? Those are the same. It's 50 millimeters. That's all it is. One of the reasons I selected this one, it's one of the few 50 millimeter Maxutovs ever to exist. And these are getting rare now. So this is probably highly collectible in this form. The Questar 3.5 inch comes with a beautiful leather case. Lovely thing. Room to store some equipment inside. Very, very nice. One of the premier qualities of this scope. My little semi replica also comes with a case. Maybe not quite as nice. I couldn't do leather wrap like this. <laughs> Way beyond my skill level. But I sort of kind of came up with a sort of a semi leather wrap case. Kind of like that. When you remove the legs, on the Questar there are a couple little plugs that go in into the holes. Well, of course, I've got something similar here. And the legs have special slots here. Questar replica slides right in there. Very much like the original. There we have it. Okay, let me see if I can show you this slow motion. It doesn't work very well. It works by friction, and it's kind of a if you if you're lucky you catch it right and it works. You can see that I'm turning it now and it's giving it just a little bit of slow motion. It's not <laughs> not quite as elegant as the Questar, surprisingly. If you want to see how I made this little scope, there's a link in the description to a video I shot about that. I'll be the first to admit that my little Questar model here is not a top quality telescope. It doesn't match the quality in any respect of the original Questar, but it sure makes a nice display piece. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at my half-scale model of the Questar 3.5-inch telescope. Thank you for watching.